Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and guess what? The honeymoon between Uber and Pittsburgh, it is over. It is over, 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 done, done, done. And Uber has officially made another enemy. That's like, what, 500 this week alone? I, I don't know. Um, anyway, according to an article by Quartz, um, entitled, Pittsburgh has finally realized it's in a toxic relationship with Uber, they write, the honeymoon is over for Uber and Pittsburgh. After bending over backward to accommodate the ride-sharing company's driverless car ambitions, city officials are tired of being taken for granted. Quote, We've held up our end of the bargain, Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto said last week, but we haven't seen much from Uber. This is a two-way street, not a one-way. I need to see more interest from them in our communities, both locally and internationally. City controller Michael Lamb took the analogy even further, in quote, unfortunately, to this point, the relationship with Uber appears to be a one-way limited access highway, he wrote in an email to Peduto. They currently operate as though they have been given carte blanche across our entire city. Pittsburgh has put up with Uber for a long time. The city stayed quiet as Uber gutted Carney Mellon for robotics talent in early 2015 and welcomed the advanced technology center it later set up. Pittsburgh wrote a letter in support of Uber when the company was fined $11.4 million for operating in Pennsylvania without permission. And in September, Pittsburgh opened its streets to test of self-driving cars with real people and played along with Uber's hasty and elaborate press event. From Uber, Pittsburgh wanted help winning the 2016 Smart City Challenge, a U.S. Department of Transportation competition with a $50 million prize. In May 2016, Peduto asked Uber to spend $25 million on a new transit connection from Carnegie Mellon to the neighborhood where it would be testing autonomous vehicles. Uber not only refused, but came back with a laundry list of things that Pittsburgh could do to better accommodate Uber. <laughs> Among them, access to bus lanes, designated pickups, and drop-off spots for self-driving cars, and prioritization of snow removal on self-driving car routes because for those who aren't aware these driverless cars they don't do very well when there's snow on the ground um kind of a big problem for someplace like pittsburgh um let's see here where was i uh, quote i would be voted out of office peduto retorted at the time you aren't offering anything back to the public um you know and then there was the uh they write a little here about how um you know, the delete Uber movement was kind of like the final straw for them. Um, and so far after basically, because here's the thing, Uber moved to Pittsburgh. They moved their driverless cars to Pittsburgh after San Francisco kicked them out. And San Francisco kicked them out because they were test driving cars without a permit and without permission. And um, they weren't fined for that. They were just given a warning. And Pittsburgh said, hey, we'll bring it in, obviously hoping that Maybe some of the factories that make these autonomous vehicles would open in Pittsburgh, among other things. Maybe there'd be some donations. They certainly wanted to win this prize, that this $50 million prize. But apparently Uber has only given them one thing, one thing alone. And what is that? Um, aha, here it is. But today, Pittsburgh has none of those things, and Uber's biggest show of affection remains a $10,000 donation to a local women's shelter. A one-way Limited access highway, indeed. And really, here's the thing. I'm going, I don't feel sorry for Pittsburgh in this case. I mean, Uber has a history of this. It's like, this is why you don't do partners with people you at least seem to know. And um, if you don't know them, you should do some research on them before you partner with them because Uber has never shown any sort of kindness to anyone whatsoever. They always take, 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 take. If they want an example of how Uber screws people, just ask drivers for Uber when they were getting paid like $2.50 $2 a mile and promised that they could make like $35 to $40 an hour. And now people are making $0.90 cents a mile and making about $10 or $11 an hour. And if you take the expenses out, it's really less. I make more than $20 an hour, but then I do it smart. And the thing is, with jobs like these, it's good if you can do it smart. But you shouldn't have to do it smart. You shouldn't have to, in a sense, cheat the system just to make money. And that's what Uber forces the drivers to do. So if Pittsburgh had just even looked into this a little bit, they wouldn't be so shocked at what they found. So, you know, there you go. 
Uh, will the autonomous cars keep driving in Pittsburgh? Probably not. Um, and in fact, if this is anything, Uber might have some difficulty finding cities that will accommodate the autonomous vehicles now that there's actually two presidents of Uber just screwing the cities that they launch these things in. Whatever. Uh, okay, so this is going to be one of, oh, geez, unfortunately, like seven Uber stories and, oh, look, a Lyft story. <laughs> There's one in there. Go pig. So, yeah, anyway, what do you folks think? Uh, do you think Pittsburgh is done with Uber? I'd like to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.